Welcome to Otaku No Video. Thanks for joining me. It's time for your anime and manga news for January 13th, 2010. Uh, some manga news, actually. Yoko Kamiyo, who created Boys Over Flowers. Hanayori Dango, you know, girl at school with lots of pretty boys who she has to kind of fight against, that whole thing. She's launching a new manga on February 13th in Japan. It'll be called Tora no Okami. Uh, and it'll be a love triangle between a girl working in a family-owned restaurant and two cute boys who frequently come in. So, uh, yeah, I'm expecting romantic comedy. Just, you know, weird guess. Meanwhile, if you're all interested in, in those awesome manga released by Vertical, things like uh, this, as well as uh, this, yes, Reverse Thieves, the blog Reverse Thieves, has an excellent interview with Ed Chavez of Vertical. Uh, it's got lots of interesting stuff about how Vertical does business and what their marketing budget is. Uh, but just lots of, lots of stuff about in, in how Vertical chooses what manga it publishes, stuff like that. Uh, so head on over there. And Ed's a really cool guy. You can, you can follow him on, on Twitter if you, if, you, if you can. And he's just he's neat to read about. Meanwhile, some bad news, particularly for all of you waiting for Halo Legends. It's been delayed a week. No idea why. Um, uh, so it's going to be released on February 16th, 2010. So about a week, about a month from now, rather. Um, for those of you who don't know, Halo Legends is basically the Animatrix for Halo. A bunch of anime creators all doing these relatively short films centering around Halo. Looks a little more CGI-ish than uh, other stuff, but I mean, we'll see. So here's hoping it's, it's more interesting than Animatrix. I mean, Animatrix was kind of weird. Anyway, uh, more bad news for four kids. It's not news that the company is currently up for sale. They have been for a while. But its CEO, Alfred Kahn, will take a 15% pay cut for 2010. Listen to this. His pay is going to go all the way down to $765,000 a year. Poor guy. <sighs> Even worse news, though, for Anime Expo. Most of its division managers have resigned. And it looks like they'll take about three quarters of the staff with them. That doesn't count volunteers. But uh, that's a lot of staff members. This is part of a big ongoing debate over how Anime Expo should be run. Folks have been complaining for a long time, looks like nothing has been happening about it, so everyone's kind of quitting en masse. Doesn't look good. AnimeNewsNetwork.com has a, a long article explaining the history and the backstory and, and what's all been going on over the past quite a few months about this whole thing. So you get lots, lots of good context there over at AnimeNewsNetwork.com. Finally, a bit of wacky news. Uh, January 9th saw the 9th Annual Japan Otaku Awards. This is basically this very low-key event, think kind of like a uh, science fiction convention you know, thing. Uh, basically, a couple of fairly noticeable Japanese authors get together and debate with an audience about the most influential uh, otaku-oriented stuff of the past year and uh, give everyone awards. The Grand Prix Award for 2009 went to the Nintendo DS dating sim Love Plus. That's the uh, one where the, the guy recently married one of the, the characters. Uh, other awards went to the full-size Gundam statue, which was pretty awesome, Final Fantasy XIII, don't know why, and Anime Studios Shaft, who's done Bacano and a bunch of other cool stuff. So, good for all of you for making otaku like you. <laughs>